Hello, my dear Rauda, this is Miss Inji, your English teacher, and now I'm recording this video for you today to walk you through what we have covered during this week. We started with the vocabulary of two bears cup. The first word was ignored. Ignored. Ignored means to refuse to pay attention to someone or something. Next is hesitation. Hesitation. To be in doubt or uncertainty. Next, it's greedily, greedily, in an excessive manner. Next word we have is console. Console. Console means, let me show it to you, my dear. Console means to provide a comfort to someone who is being, uh, my dear, who is being uh, in stress. Next, we have burden. Burden, a load being carried. Next, we have heroic. Heroic means brave. Next, we have glancing, to look at something directly. And then we have base. Base, meaning the lowest bottom or supporting part of something. Next, we have drowsy. Drowsy, drowsy means almost asleep. Next, we have scolding. Scolding. Being used means using harsh language to correct someone. And the last word we have is greedily. Greedily. Greedily means in an excessive manner. And this was the end of the vocabulary, my dear. Next, we answer the worksheet. And a heavy or a difficult load to be carried, we said it's burden. Burden. Sleepy. It's drowsy, drowsy. To look and quickly look away is glancing, glancing. In any way that shows you are taking or eating more than you need is greedily, greedily. A pause before doing something is hesitation, hesitation. To make someone feel less sad is to console. Number seven, like a hero or being brave is definitely heroic, heroic. To purposely pay no attention to someone or something means ignored, ignored. Number nine, to angrily tell someone about his or her mistake is scolding, scolding. The last one in the worksheet that we answered, my dear, is the lowest part or the bottom and it was base, base. And this was the end of the worksheet we answered. After that, my dear, we had our comprehension class. And we read the summary of two bear cubs. Let me read you the summary of page 135. The storyteller starts with a story when animal people lived in the valley. The story begins with Mother Grizzly going to the river to catch a fish for herself and for her cubs or baby bears uh, baby bears the setting was in a valley or we can say in the forest and the mountain the main characters in the story they are older brother younger brother and mother grizzly next my dear we my dear we have the first scene between the older brother the younger brother and mother grizzly don't be afraid, brother, older brother said. Don't be afraid of the little water, young brother. Young brother said, I'm not, older brother. Mother Grizzly, children, stop scaring away the fish. Or you will have to, or you will have nothing to eat. Out of the water. Now, I want you to gather, go get some berries, but stay close and do not go down the river. Mother Grizzly, she left the stage and she moved away. And then the older brother, look at these berries, they are sweet. So let us see if the older brother and the younger brother will listen to their mom or not. First, the mom took them to the um, the mom took them to the river so they can get some fish to eat. But they will not listen to their mom. Their mom told them do not go down the river, but they will and they will be naughty. Let's see what they will do, my dear. Here, next one. 
the younger brother we should take them back to mother he is talking about the uh, berries older brother ignored him the young cub begged berries too older brother we will bring some back later i'm full let's see what's downstairs <gasps> But younger brother said we're not supposed to go there. Remember, mommy told us not to go there. Older brother, I see only the river and trees and stones. Younger brother said, I'm tired. The hot sun and my full belly make me want to sleep. Older brother said a nap would, a nap would be good. So after they ate from the berries, they went down the river and they will have a nap. Without telling their mother where did they go or what they are doing. So the mother greedily will be so worried about them. Let's see what will happen. Storyteller. The cubs fell asleep on the stone. But the stone was the seed of a mountain. As they slept, the stone grew bigger and bigger. Higher and higher. Meanwhile, mother greedily wondered what had beca become of her cubs. Mother Grizzly was so worried of her babies because she couldn't see them. She couldn't find them while they were sleeping on the rock. Scene 2. Mother Grizzly. Older brother. Younger brother. Fox, have you seen my cubs? She's searching for her babies. She doesn't know where they are. No, I have been helping uh, Badger build a new home. Badger, neither of us has seen them. We will help you look for them. Mother Grizzly, mother dear, because I cannot